We are broadcast to this physical instrument. So from the one and zero, from a programmable perspective, we do write our reality. We write it through the chemistry of our intentions, but most importantly, we write it through the chemistry of how we feel. When they are synergistic, they come together on the same thing like a laser beam, then there is coherence. And when there is coherence, there is power. There's not force. Force is when our mind says one thing and our emotion says another. One may be called intuition, one may called will and drive. But power is when you are aligned and you are in harmonic resonance with your end. So if you can see your end, you can see your outcome in your life, your business, your relationship, your finances, whatever it is, if you can vividly see that, then from a construct perspective, it exists. Because you see it, you give birth to it. So whatever you observe, you create. And in whatever you observe consistently, you give energy to. And whatever you give energy to consistently over time, uh, assume strength. Therefore, the strongest frequency wins. So if you have a vision that you tap into irregularly, every week, once a month, you go to an event on a weekend and you get super pumped up and then all of a sudden you go back into the agar dish, into the petri dish, the environment you just came from that you've in, spent most of your waking life and sleeping life in for the last decade, three, four, five decades, then you are fighting against the strength that is built and maintained in that environment. Call it the people, places, events, and circumstances. So if you wanna change your reality, you change your environment. And the way you change your environment, first must be done inside. Because as you're cycling through this currency, this energy, is it slow? Is it oscillating? Is it declining? Or is it advancing? And so how we shape our reality is through the coherence of our thoughts and our feelings. And that is of the universe. That is how we magnetize the field around us. So you do not need to live in any other time other than right now. So if you move between from this side of the room to the other side of the room, you are moving through space. You move through spaces to experience time. So the analogy is also the illusion for people in business because the harder I work and the more how-tos I accomplish, the more steps and tasks I can tick off on a weekly, monthly day, uh, basis to get the token in the gamification called life, then I'm winning. No, you actually are stuck in the matrix. You're stuck in a linear program that says to get from point A to point B, I must travel linearly from this point to that point and I must do it in time. In your imagination, you are beyond time. So as you imagine it, you create it. And as you continue imagining it, it builds strength, which means your body is now being fed electromagnetic signals from your thoughts and feelings, which then ripples out as a signature into the field. In this moment and every single moment moving forward, you are creating that same reality, which means it is gaining strength. And so for it to appear in the world of matter, in the world as a slower vibrationary rate, you could say that it takes time. And yet time is irrelevant to you because you go back into the world of imagination and you just live it again and you live it again. So by the time that it arrives in the world of matter, you're not surprised and you're not overwhelmed and you're not rejecting it. You are openly receiving it in full expectation because you have lived it a thousand times before.